Gender's off off subject. You can't. It's, uh, <laughs> it's off limits. Yeah, that's well. That's one of the things about dark comedy clubs. You want them dark. Can you imagine that. Remember when you were a kid? If somebody came up to you, one day uh, you're going to have to ask someone whether they're, they're a boy or a girl, and it's going to be very delicate. And you're going to have to ask them what their preferred pronouns are. You'd be like, "What?" Well, it it hasn't changed that much. People have gotten a little gotten a little bit more sensitive because they're aware that other people are more sensitive. 10, 15 years, and then everyone's going to be. Uh, there's, there's going to be a lot of ambiguity. Am ambiguity. That's <laughs> ambiguity. How often do you say that word? Yeah, <clears throat> that's, I'll say ambiguous, but how often do you say ambiguity? It's a nightmare because ambiguity? it's recreational outrage. Yeah, if you, but nobody would have ever anticipated that there would be debate about gen gender. It's, it's kids who have been under the control of their parents for most of their life and haven't had their own sovereignty and identity, and now they're free. And they are, are very quick to uh, be outraged. They, they want to point out their moral superiority. They want a virtue signal in every opportunity. They want to shut down anything they think is, air quotes, problematic. They don't want things to go in a bad way. And they think for some reason that comedy like, should be uplifting. What if I was in the women's room? Taking a shit. <laughs> what if you were in there? You know, like there's something yeah, dirty a, it's a about nightmare. even if everyone is just washing their hands close to each other in the sink. It's like everyone's creeped out. I can't wait to get the fuck out of here. The tension's so thick. Right? You'd be like, who are these awful people that are laughing at this unfortunate girl? 